For us in Hyderabad and surrounding areas, we make something called Bagara rice. Bagara rice is a must for all kind of functions and uh, this is a very tasty thing. Along with that, we make mutton curry and this mutton curry, they make little extra and lot of gravy. First, let's make this Bagara rice. So, to make this Bagara rice, it's very simple. Add oil in a pan. In this, we're going to add whole garam masala. The bay leaves, cinnamon, cloves, star anise, cardamom. So, on a slow flame, let this slightly sizzle. In this, add jeera or you can add shahi jeera. In this, add onion. And the onion need to get slightly golden in color. And this bagara rice, we are going to just saute everything in a pan. Making lot of these rice varieties, even some biryanis, lot of chitranas, you can do them in a rice cooker. In this, add salt and slowly cook. When the onions are slightly golden, ginger garlic paste, add mint leaf, lot of mint leaf, add green chilli and that's it. Just cook it for a minute and in the meantime, we are going to add rest of the thing in the rice cooker. For this preparation, we are going to use the regular rice, not the basmati rice, just regular rice and for around 4 cups, add only 7 cups of water. So this way, the rice will come out perfect. So add water and as usual, just like how you make your biryani, make sure you add salt. In this, we are going to transfer the brown onion, the mint, everything. And this one will give lot of flavor to the rice. And the water, always check it. Yes, it's perfect. Salt is just right. Put the lid on. Switch on the rice cooker. And just forget it. Now, for the mutton curry. This is going to be a very simple curry. I have done it many times. So, very simple. Again, whole garam masala. The bay leaf. The cinnamon, cardamom, clove. In this, add shai jeera and in this we are going to add onions. Add salt and fry the onions. Again, you want this to become a very nice gravy. So, you have to brown the onions. In this, add turmeric and we have coconut and poppy seed powder. So, we always have, you know, right from my childhood, in my fridge, always we used to see this coconut and poppy seed powder. So, here the coconut and poppy seed and it will also become a very nice gravy. So, let it cook in this. Now, in this add ginger garlic paste and even let this cook for 2-3 minutes. Now, add the mutton. Okay, look at the mutton pieces. This is nice, tender and good meat with lot of uh, big chunks of meat and the nulli bones. Look at them, lot of nulli bones and more inside. And now in this, add chilli powder, add coriander powder, cumin powder, little bit of garam masala powder and now add water. Okay, not much. Okay. That should be good enough. Green chilli, going to add water and adjust. So, put the lid on and let it cook for you know, 5-6 whistles depending on how big your pressure cooker and how much meat you are using. So, I am cooking more than 1.5 kg meat. So, I am going to let it cook till the meat is nice and soft. And just add some bread pieces. Just put the lid on and I am telling you, kids will just love it. Now, you know, the mutton is nice and soft. But I told you, we are going to make a fry little bit of mutton and rest of it into gravy. In this, we are going to add some curd and a lot of people love to add tomatoes. In this, add some garam masala. The salt is also less. The mutton is nice, perfect. A yogurt will give little bit of sourness and this mutton curry will just be too good. I will move this mutton to the other stove and I am going to take some of this mutton and make a fry with nothing but garlic pepper and you can also add chilli powder to give it awesome effect. Now, you know in a ding chick add pepper, also add garlic and crush it and keep this ready. Make sure the pepper is coarsely crushed and the garlic also crushed. This is what will give your mutton a 
absolutely awesome taste especially for the fry now in the pan add some oil okay for the fry you preferably use non stick pan in this add curry leaf and the mutton that's boiling just take mutton pieces now in this add the freshly crushed garlic and pepper and also to make it little bit more awesome add some chili powder not too much add coriander leaf and now saute this so with the fresh spices this will fry and when this is done wow you will get this awesome garlic pepper mutton fry i'm telling you it will be the best now look at this all the moisture is gone and the mutton is getting fried so this is the most simplest way to do it in this in the last because already the salt was sufficient in this add some green chili sprinkle pinch of salt and toss it add a little bit of garam masala powder also oh that's it now if i fry more with the vapors i'm going to sneeze here and squeeze in little bit of lemon juice on top that's it transfer it into your bowl and you got this awesome mutton fry okay look at that very good very very nice in the last add some chopped coriander mix it and just leave it you know after 2 3 minutes some of the oil will come out and it look good so switch off the flame and let it sit like that once in a week i have to listen to queen victoria and every word of it and it is not easy so the recipe like this mutton fry will get very handy along with your favorite drink and uh, the mutton sweetheart okay give her good food and she will pass on with lot of pictures they may include your childhood pictures the marriage pictures and all those things however it is you watch smile cry on the side <laughs> the mutton is so tender ah wow. just melting away mm mm did you say anything to me baby when you listen to all of it at least pretend that you're listening then serve good bagara rice with the mutton curry and make sure it is nice and hot my goodness this is so good and with all the gravy and the hot hot the mutton curry look at this with this nalli bones and everything this is just awesome wow you have to eat this rice only when this is really hot Mm. By itself, it's got amazing flavors. I literally can't hear anything. Pay your attention on good food, and mm. fingers should literally burn. It should be that hot, and the meat just should just melt in your mouth. And then every bite of it is so amazing. When the food is when the food is so good and when you are good you can't hear anything but when 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 you can't hear anything that is the best time you got to say ding chik ding chik ding chik ding chik aha the mutton pieces just awesome very hot mm.